Isaiah chapter 64. Isaiah chapter 64. I learned a lot about grace. Grace is a very misunderstood concept in the Bible, but I learned a lot about grace from a person that I think probably should have been named Grace, but she wasn't, and that's my wife. And as a preacher's wife, she has the un, uh, unenviable position of being talked about in numerous sermons and everything, but she's she's one of the reasons that, that I am where I am today, and um, like I said, I've learned a lot about grace from her. I remember the first instance of true grace that I ever felt was we were getting ready for church one Sunday morning. I was getting ready to go preach at the Pecos County Cowboy Church where I was a pastor. And my wife is really, really awesome at sewing and needlework, and she's just, you know, she's just whatever she decides to do, she's good at. And she had made a bunch of stuff, and she had some material left over. And she come walking in, and this material that she had used was uh, of a unique print, to say the least. And um, she had made herself this beautiful, beautiful dress with this little bandana kind of skirting on it. And I mean, I was just amazed because I didn't even know she was doing it. And sometimes guys don't think. Because she walked into the kitchen and, you know, a preacher's morning, you're getting ready and you're getting everything done and you're kind of praying at the same time and you're doing this and you're doing this. And she comes walking in and she said, what do you think? And I turned around and the first thing I saw was this Holstein cow print. She goes, how do I look? And I said, you look like a cow. Have you ever had something come out of your mouth and you're like, no, because that's not what I meant. She looked good. She did. I mean, she did a fantastic job. And you know, sometimes you think something may be funny, but it's not. (laughs) She looked at me and I was like, "Uh uh-oh. Boy, I went to backpedaling, and, and guys, I know you've all been there whenever you go to backpedaling. Well, what I meant was it, and she's like, "Mm mm-hmm. Keep going, cowboy. You in so deep now, you probably ain't never going to get out. And I was. I was in so deep that it only took her grace. It got me out of it. There was another time not too very long ago, and I won't mention any names um, just to protect the guilty. And uh, anyway, we had sponsored a local deal, I should say, and uh, for the kiddos, and we walked in the pizza place one night, and there was this organization was having this little board meeting and everything, and boy, they called us over there, and they thanked us, Save the Cowboy, for sponsoring all these kids for this deal and everything, and, you know, we were like, yeah, no problem, no problem, no problem, and then all of a sudden, one of the guys that's on the board, good friend of ours, he comes walking up, and, you know, I know that I'm not that big of a guy, But my size may be a little bit deceiving to some people because he walked up and he said, hey, we want to get you a hoodie. And he said, what size hoodie do you wear? And I said, a large. He said, are you sure? (laughs) And I said, yeah, I'm sure. He said, well, we'll get you a large, but if you can't wear it, you can give it to your wife. And he went, oh. He wasn't being rude to her. He was trying to make a knock on me, but it backfired. And she looked at him and she goes, did you just call me fat? (laughs) He turned about the color of these maroon chairs up here. You ever been attacked by a mad mama cow? And you're like... And you go to running off, that's exactly what he did in the pizza place. Fell down three times before he could get back to his table. It was fantastic. (laughs) She likes to tell that story often. But she gave him grace. She knew that he didn't mean that or anything like that. Learned a lot about grace. You know, whenever you, you just get something good for something you did so bad, 